Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a landing page for MailChimp, uh, so that, that way you can promote your mailing list without even necessarily having to touch your website. Although I do recommend actually linking to it from your website if you want to use it. But basically, the way it works is most of the time in MailChimp, when we're trying to get things sign up forms set up, we tend to go uh, over here. Oops, we tend to go over here to our audience tab. And then we generally go to sign up forms. Now I've heard all about, we've heard about landing forms, but they're actually not in here at all. So we need to basically figure out where these forms are. And so where they are is actually, I think in a little bit of a strange spot, but it's not too bad. Basically we need to go down to campaigns with our little speaker icon here. Click on that. When you bring it up, you'll see down here, view by type, landing pages so you can see if i go to create campaign over here in the top right hand corner i can you can see landing page so i'm going to click that and we're going to start creating our landing page so i'm going to call this page uh, i'm going to say test for video and i'm going to click begin and the good thing about mailchimp is it just it does walk you through step by step so you don't have to try and figure out everything all at once but you do get a few uh, a few nice templates you can work with so you've got something very visual if you have a, a photo you want to pop in the background you can have a nice visual like that which also uh, if you scroll down open up you can scroll down you can see there's a little bit more on that page as well with um, this button at the top I mean down the bottom sorry and there's a few a few nice ones there's a nice simple one here as well there's um, some some here are a bit more blank a little less styled and you can play with those as well. So let's say I, I actually accidentally chose that, but the good news is I actually wanted to show you that if you do get a form and you think, okay, I'm gonna start working on this one. So you start typing away, but you decide, you know what? I don't think that this template is for me. You can go down here to the bottom where it says template and you can click that and it'll take you back and you can actually choose another template. So what we might do is we might even say, choose something else, something like maybe this one here Click change template. So it's pretty, it is pretty in your face, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, let's see if we can zoom out a bit. So this logo here, I'm going to replace that with my logo. Insert. And of course, I can change this to maybe something along the lines of, you know, do the killer website WordPress or something like that. And I can obviously uh, change this text here by clicking and typing away. I'm just gonna leave that for now. And then you've got your form and we've got some, some images here. So maybe I wanna click in and change. So I might click this one here, replace that with a more relevant image like this. Insert, click another one over, click on column one over here to change this image. And we've got this image here. And then, of course, we go through and so, you know, say, build a blog, drive traffic, that sort of thing. Maybe over here, we can type something else. Um, yeah, you basically got a few, you got some padding there you can change. You got a few areas you can change. Just, it's a simple case of going through, finding a template that suits you, clicking in and changing the information on it. Now, one thing I will say is that this font doesn't really match my logo. So I'm going to highlight this font over here. I'm gonna clear all styles. I'll choose say heading one. I'll change the font to, look here, Montserrat. Maybe I'll make that bold. Maybe I like, I think that size might be a little bit too big. So I'll knock it down to say 34. I've only got one part highlighted, so I only changed one part, but it's all right, I wanna make it a bit bigger than that anyway, so 40. So we've got our, everything sort of working out here, not, not too bad. Um, also, maybe I decide I wanna add something to the page, we can click off, I click save and close. I can add image and text, I can add things in here if I want to as well. So maybe I change this image to, let's choose this one again, or maybe something like, uh, no, let's choose this one. Insert. And now we've got a few options here with this. Maybe go to style, uh, 
change the way it's positioned or we can have one image we have to the left so maybe we put in here something like tired of using outdated software we change that to a heading as well come up and as you can see we still got that same issue with the font being a bit weird so maybe we'll try heading two to get the idea you can play around with things get it looking pretty much the way you want one thing i will say though is that there are a few little bugs with this software uh, i'm going to change that image it's a bit too tall so maybe we will go with this one so you know you can go in there you can change what you want um but yes, yeah, sometimes there's some bugs with the interface which uh, can make it very frustrating to use. I'm actually, it's one of the reasons why I prefer to simply create a landing page in WordPress and uh, embedding the form. But this is great because if you don't know how to do that, at least with a bit of stuffing around, with a bit of mucking around, you can get there. Um, so we've got a few things here. There's some, now, when you click off, you've got style here for the page. I click on the page, I can change the background color if I want to. I can make it say, a red color, which isn't sort of showing up at the moment. I don't know what's going on there. Background color, add an image instead. Click insert. Preview that for a second. It, it does look like, anyway, for some reason the background isn't working, but we'll simply, we'll remove that anyway. We'll change that back to white for the sake of that. But it does have, you can change here some of the fonts. So if you want to change the fonts across the board, so once again, I choose Montserrat. And again, heading two, I choose Montserrat. Maybe I make that smaller, like 36, bold. You can go through and change the page settings and the fonts across the board. So this one here, obviously, is not the font we've been using. So if I change this, heading four, heading three, it'll actually go through and update it across the page. And I can go down the page, make sure everything is the way I want. So I'm using Montserrat for everything on this page, basically. I save that. With my header, I can change the background colors again. So let's see if this makes a difference. So yeah, you can see there, it does make a difference. I can add an image by the looks of it. Maybe I choose something a bit weird like this. Click insert. And then maybe I'll make it transparent with a background color that is white. So you can see how you can start to add some effects in there pretty easily. Um, have a bit of a play around. And going through, we'll save that again. Then we've got the body, which is this section here. So maybe I decide I want to make that black or gray. Um, maybe I'll make so the body interior color, same thing. So you can go through and change bits and pieces around to suit make the text white now the headers on this page don't seem to be white but you get the idea you can take a bit of time go through and change it unfortunately this header is not right so we'll change it back to white change the text back as well sort of bouncing around a little bit here but you get the idea you can go through customize different sections now the footer is orange which doesn't match the rest of the design so click on that make that like a gray so now that sort of matches so we've got a little page here um, we can change areas in the footer mobile styles so you can go through and fix sizes of text when it switches to mobile so let's say this is it this is our page our little landing page for MailChimp you might you might be interested in one of the more visual pages and simply changing that it's just a matter of clicking and changing on things replacing images is very straightforward uh, and then you can preview it when you're ready top right there so this is how a page will look on desktop we switch to mobile we can see how it works they sign up there subscribe and go from there all right so we're happy with that we're going to go to we'll save and close for one save and close So we've got our page title, which is test for video. We have a URL. Now to edit the URL, 
I think you can connect the domain, although I do, do think that's a pro feature possibly, I'm not too sure. So connect domain. So you can actually go ahead and connect your, and verify your domain and connect it up. But uh, I think what we might do is just simply skip that for now and head back. Leave that URL. So this is the URL we wanna use if we want to share this page. Um, audience is basically the audience we have with our two subscribers, <laughs> our content. We're pretty much good to go. So we just hit publish. And you can see the landing page is up. So I click on this and this is our landing page. People can sign up here. Now, obviously this isn't the best looking landing page out there, but it does show you how you can make those changes. As I said before, you have got those other templates you can work with, so uh, have a bit of fun with that. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it's a great way to just create a quick landing page. You've got a bit of imagery, you know what you want. Um, yeah, you can go through. Like I said, I, ha I have found in, in the past that Sometimes it can be a little bit funny to use, a bit hard to wrap your head around, but uh, it's, it is pretty intuitive and not too bad once you get the hang of it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Uh, if you wanna see more like this, please subscribe. Uh, otherwise, yeah, hope you have a great day and we'll see you again next time.